Disgraceful Putin runs away. Russian military pretends to be Ukrainian civilians to flee, as a rain of Ukrainian missiles turns a Russian military base into a sea of fire Russia and Ukraine war July 16. Russian military leaves earthquake and pretends to be civilians when Ukraine attacks Putin's stronghold. A cloud of smoke successfully filled the sky after a Russian military facility was blown up in the Kherson area, another blow to Putin's forces, according to the Ukrainian military. A rain of missiles by the Ukrainian army this morning, July 15, completely destroyed a Russian military base. Ukrainian forces hit two military checkpoints and one amphibious assault in a second attack this week on a Russian-administered area in southern Ukraine, officials said. The explosion was like an erupting volcano, the fireballs, due to the explosives and ammunition in the Russian military warehouse were destroyed, all military equipment was destroyed. The surviving Russian soldiers split up to escape. Kiev said that Russian soldiers were seen fleeing the scene, in panic, many of them wearing civilian clothes to pretend to be Ukrainians and boarding public transport to escape runaway. The Russians are said to have rushed with large bags full of looted objects and belongings with them, when the siren sounded. The photo was shared on the office's official Telegram account with the caption, In the Kherson region, a warehouse for salt relief and humanitarian aid caught fire again. Also, in the area of the explosion, you can hear the howling of the sirens and the commotion of the Russian invaders fleeing in different directions. It was a humiliating sight for Putin, as his soldiers hurried with their necessary supplies and fled by all means. Putin's eagerness and arrogance was smeared by the Russian army while fleeing. Local residents reported that some Russian soldiers in a panic changed civilian clothes and packed with large bags into the cramped civilian transport. They quickly fled. Serhiy Brachik, a spokesman for the Odessa regional government, quoted the South Operation Command as saying an attack on the city of Nova Kakovka in the Kherson region. We killed 113 enemy soldiers at the base, the others who were still alive fled in all directions, Mr. Brachik stressed.